photo by Maddie Meyer, Getty Images, Los Angeles Dodgers The Los Angeles Dodgers could not do what the team sought out to do in the first two games of the 2018 World Series. While winning both games would have been nice, the main objective for LA in the first two games was to win at least one at Fenway Park to ensure that the Dodgers had home field advantage in the final five games. That was not the case and now the Dodgers need to find four wins in the last five games, if there even is five more games, with three of the games being at Dodger Stadium. That is the only silver lining of the Dodgers being down 0-2. The Red Sox simply did what they were supposed to do and win both games at home. Now, the Dodgers need to defend their turf and win all three in LA, it is not going to be an easy feat but it is possible for the Dodgers, who are prone at getting red hot at times this season. When the Dodgers are red hot there is no team in baseball that can beat them. It has been a while since we have seen that red hot team and most of October has been a grind. If there is a time for the Dodgers to flip the switch, it is now. Taking the bump in a must-win Game 3 for the Dodgers is rookie Walker Buehler. Meanwhile, the Red Sox are sending 2016 Cy Young winner, Rick Porcello. Page 2, photo by Jonathan Daniel, Getty Images, Los Angeles Dodgers Regular Season Stats, 23 starts, 137.1 IP, 2.62 ERA, 0.961 WHIP, 151 KS Postseason Stats, 3 starts, 16.2 IP, 5.40 ERA, 1.140 WHIP, 22 KS W. Walker Bueller's numbers this postseason have not been particularly great but that is not a huge reason for concern if you are a Dodgers fan. If anything, I would be more concerned how the young pitcher handles the nerves of pitching in a must-win postseason game over how he might be statistically. And while his numbers might not be the greatest, he has not had a terrible postseason and has been burned by some big home runs. In the NLDS, Al Bueller needed to do was throw strikes to Atlanta Braves starting pitcher, Sean Newcomb. Bueller walked Newcomb with the bases loaded and two outs and allowed a grand slam to Ronald Acuna Jr. The next at bat, Bueller let up five runs that game and only two hits. In the NLCS, Bueller pitched just fine in Game 3 at home. A wild pitch which was really on Yasmani Grandel, scored a run and a flyer shot two run home in the seventh inning made his line bad. Those are eight freak earned runs that don't typically happen. Bueller thrives on his hard fastball, his two-seamer and his big curve. The biggest thing for Bueller is getting in a groove early, if he can get through the order the first time around with little to no stress and stay in the windup, we could get seven strong innings out of Bueller. However, if he is going to falter, it is going to be in the opening innings. The opening innings have been what burned Bueller thus far in the postseason. The good thing to keep in mind is that Bueller and Game 4 starter Rich Hill have the best strikeout stuff, whereas Clayton, Kershaw and Yanjin Ryu induce more soft contact. That is big when it comes to stopping two out rallies. Page 3, photo by Maddie Meyer, Getty Images, Los Angeles Dodgers regular season stats, 33 starts, 191.1 IP, 4.28 ERA, 1.176 WHIP, 190 KS postseason stats, 2 starts, 10.2 IP, 4.22 ERA, 1.218 WHIP, 6 KS Rick Porcello has started just two games for the Boston Red Sox in the postseason and has also come in out of the bullpen twice as well for Boston. Despite the numbers, Porcello has been pretty good this postseason, with his last start making it worse than it appears. In his last start, which was Game 4 of the ALCS, Porcello was only able to complete four innings of work, allowing seven hits, four runs and two home runs. The Red Sox still went on to win that game, 8-6 behind some controversy. More from LA Sports Hub in his other start, Porcello tossed five innings, allowing four hits and one run. He has allowed just one hit in his two bullpen outings. Porcello did win the 2016 American League Cy Young with the Red Sox but is a very hittable pitcher, especially with some power hitting left-handed bats in the Dodgers lineup. He does not walk a lot of guys at all with most of the traffic on the bases being that of base hits.
According to Fangraphs, Porcello's 2.26 BB9 was the ninth best among pitchers with at least 190 innings pitched this season. Even if you reduce the qualifications to qualified pitchers, Porcello still ranks 12th. Porcello attacks the zone and is susceptible to letting up base hits if he does not find the corners. Over the last two seasons, Porcello has allowed 413 hits, the most of any pitcher in baseball. Los Angeles Dodgers are a very patient team and are going to have to put some of that away while facing Porcello. While you do not want to swing at a pitcher's pitch on the first pitch, the strategy must be to look for base hits, not to grind out walks. Next, what it will take for LA to win Game 3 grinding out a walk is perfectly fine with me but the Dodgers statistically have a better chance if they attack what he offers them in the zone. This should mean a lot of 0-0 green lights for Cody Bellinger, Max Muncy and Jock Peterson.